Hello guys and welcome to the Brickbox and a very spooky review this time of the brand new Lego set 10228, the Monster Fighters Haunted House. This is a spectacular set guys but we will get into the specifics of it very shortly. Uh, I will tell you that this set does come with 2064 pieces and it has an age range of 14 years plus. Now to buy this set you will have to pay quite a lot of money. So in the UK it will cost you £149.99 and pence. for you guys in America $179.99 and the rest of Europe €179.99 and for you guys right around there in Australia $269.99. Uh, this does come with six minifigures, you do get two glow-in-the-dark ghosts, a vampire which is of course Dracula that has a glow-in-the-dark head, a vampire's bride and that has a glow-in-the-dark head as well, a zombie's chef and a butcher which looks like a Frankenstein. Now this set comes complete with the awesome brick separator and we do get a sheet of stickers which you can see there. Now considering the size of this set guys you don't get many stickers on that sheet there are 11, 12, 13 stickers on that sheet, so that is all very good. And we do get three manuals with this set, as you would expect anyway, uh, due to the size and the piece count. So let's start with the minifigures, and our first one is a Vampire, the main guy himself. Of course, is supposed to be a Dracula type figure. There's pretty cool uh, detail there on the face and on the torso and down to the legs as well and it comes with this really cool cape this is all a one piece cape and you have to fold it in a certain manner in the middle to get the collar up and the cape down it's all a very cleverly designed it does come with that black hair piece as well and to the rear of the figure we can see we do have a small amount of print as well on the torso but we do have this second face printed on the head as well which is uh, pretty cool. And if we go back round to the front of this minifigure, I will now check out the glow in the dark capabilities of this by turning off the lights. Three, two, one, here we go. And there is the head glowing. That looks pretty cool. I think you will agree. So if we turn the lights back on now, there you can see. It's all back to normal again. And next up it is the Vampire's Bride. Pretty cool detail there, all the way down from the front of the torso right the way down to the bottom of this skirt she's wearing. And a pretty cool facial expression on that head as well. And this really cool long hairpiece, all in black. And under that hairpiece we can see we have that second face printed on the head and that is a pretty cool menacing looking expression if I do say so myself, and we do get some print also to the rear of the torso. Now as with the Vampire minifigure, I will also test out the glow-in-the-dark capabilities of this minifigure as well. So 3, 2, 1, and there you can see the head glowing really cool again in the, uh, in the dark. That face really does stand out when that uh, head is glowing. And now back with the lights on again, you can see she's back to normal. And thirdly we have the ghost. Now you do get two of these ghost minifigures and they do both glow in the dark very well in fact because all of this body section will glow in the dark and it does look pretty cool with the black headpiece underneath and uh, really shows that face up. But uh, I'll just give it a spin, there is no detail really to speak of, just this sheet design uh, which slips over the top of the main body there which doesn't have legs it's just a normal uh, two by one piece attached to the bottom but again as with the previous two minifigures I will get myself into position and we will turn the lights off in three two one and there you can see how cool does that minifigure look in the dark I'm, I've always been impressed with these because these have come out in other monster fighter sets as well but they do look really, really cool in the dark there. And next up we have the Butler minifigure, which is of course a Frankenstein-style character. It's very obvious. 
and uh, I do like this headpiece it actually just slips on over the normal head and this is the big bulky Frankenstein-esque head there which makes uh, it look more appealing uh, just the one face printed to the head there we have the usual butler outfit with the uh, dicky bow or bow tie and uh, just a little amount of detail to the rear there and you can just see the back of that headpiece but yeah guys I really do like this minifigure it does look very cool and lastly on the minifigures we have the zombie chef this is pretty awesome I love the chef hat that comes with this and as you can see from the head there we only get that one face printed but these zombie expressions in these monster fighters sets the expressions are very cool the eyes look very scary so does the uh, mouth etc and uh, he, he has got his chef outfit on there which is a little torn and raggedy with food all over it and uh, as you can see that does carry on the same thing to the back very torn with lots of food but uh, can you imagine a zombie cooking your dinner or tea or lunch for you a few eyeballs may pop to the surface of the soup let's say uh, I wouldn't uh, fancy that myself but there you go pretty cool minifigure all the same so on to the main feature and that is of course the house itself it does come with this gate section which you can see there I will highlight that very shortly I just want to give you a good look at the house in its entirety before we go up close and take a look at each part individually there you can see the house looks fantastic from the front and then it does open up so internally you can see all the rooms which look really really cool lots of little features inside there uh, added which does add a lot to the set and then let's take a look at the side you can see we have an entrance to the side there and you can see all these shutters that are hanging off pieces of wood as well very very cool and then to the back a couple of windows not so much detail there to the back and then to the side we have this chimney but that is the integral part of the set as these are where all the hinges are to aid in the opening of the set so you can look at it internally but let's take a good close-up look now of the set so let's start with the gate system at the front this is the only separate part of this set separate from the house and these gates do open like so and not much more to say about that really it is quite a simple thing but at the same time a very very nice and effective so on to the haunted house let's start at the lower level and work our way up we do get this dead of vegetation there I do like these pieces and they feel really cool as well uh, railings black railings we get windows we get four zombie heads there for the pillars at the front of the house which is very cool I do that like that is a nice touch uh, tile pieces there to the uh, front of the house we do get a door as well and that will open like so so that is very cool we do get all these windows around the house now we do get some windows that don't have the glass pieces in and some that do and there you can see on that one there we have a stick application also to the one down there we have a stick at which is a cobweb style so we do get a few stickers jotted around mainly to the window areas now as we go around we can see we have some more windows well one window and we have this piece of wood and you can move that piece of wood to where you want it's only held on by a stud on that side and a printed tile piece at that some are printed some are not and again you can see there a sticker has been applied to that window and here we have a side entrance with a door that will open again he says very convincingly so yeah you can open that that is very operational and the stairs leading up some more tiles and more dead vegetation there as we go around not much more but the window and another window that side the plank and the chimney system and you can see all these hinges there aid in the opening of the set now on the middle of the house we do have this balcony style section there in the middle these little uh, droid arm style pieces are a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a pain to put all these on uh, but that is the only part of the set I didn't like so much building wise was putting all these little pieces on there on these railings we do get the shutters hanging off that is a very nice touch I do like this again you can see we have stickers on some windows some have the glass missing 
as you go around another window with a shutter missing and this is just going to be plain with one window to the rear and again the chimney system and another window there like I say these uh, shutters hanging off the windows do give it a very good displayability factor so to the top section of the house we have windows again with the hanging shutters printed tile pieces no glass in those windows there another little window there to the side with a printed tile piece we have all these pieces that go up to form the roof which is very nice gives it a very nice feel and look as well and a window to the rear and the chimney section finishes off nicely there to the top with another window to the side and this centre section does look very nice and does finish the exterior of the house off very very nicely it gives it a very nice uh, display uh, appeal so on to the most appealing part of this set and it is the internal of the house of course a very cool stair system there this is not the one piece stair system you have seen it is actually made up of blocks and there you can see the inside of the door which we saw the outside of just and we have this fireplace as well which is a pretty cool design and on top of the fireplace you will see a ship in a bottle now this is really cool not sure I've seen this piece before maybe a new piece uh, but the ship is actually printed onto the front of that bottle I did, I did think that was a very very nice touch about this set so onto the the kitchen area of this where the zombie chef will do all his preparing we do have a big spider web with a spider in the middle and this really cool oven system and uh, the oven will open up like that and we have some uh, pots and pans on the top of there and just a few random tiles and we have a snake in a cooking uh, pot and uh, these minifigure style headpieces which are translucent I've always liked those and uh, it has been made into a jar with a uh, circular tile piece to top it off and a bottle as well and there you can see the door going to the side entrance or exit which we saw from the outside so onto the middle floor of this set we do see these stairs coming up to a balcony section at the top there and a window and we do have this picture on the wall which is a tile piece with a sticker applied to it with, which depicts a werewolf mm. and we do have a table system which is a little strange looking cup with a bottle and a uh, glass on it and we do have a writing desk with a separate letter tile piece and a ink well and a quill as well which is very very cool so on to the next section which is the bedroom section we do have this wardrobe which will open so that is pretty cool and uh, we do have these pictures that you can see hanging off the wall so one two three we have four pictures all of these are stickers applied to tiles and what I like about this piece there I do like these dome uh, translucent dome pieces and in there we do have a uh, large stud piece which has a heart printed onto it that is really really cool I do like that uh, very very nice and this very uh, simple style of bed and uh, some arms there making up some kind of wall hang couple of lights and a uh, plant in the uh, corner of the room as well but that's pretty much it for the middle floor guys but I do like this heart in a uh, display jar and lastly let's go to the very top floor lots and lots going on up here we have a, a newspaper we have a chest with a top hat in it we have a vintage style uh, gun we have a uh, suit of arm with the helmet in a bucket another one of those jars there with the translucent style minifigure headpiece this stair system I will show you last as it does fold out and as we go across to the last piece of the top floor you'll see we have this box it has a record in it which has a print uh, sticker on it and another newspaper and they will get a bone in a translucent display piece just like the heart but this time with the bone we have a skeleton's head and we have this really cool gramophone system this is really really nice how uh, this has been done you can see there we have the gramophone section with the uh, explorer's hat has been used for the uh, for the top part there and then we have a record 
with the pin on the record displaying uh, playing it and that is a sticker on the record so that is a really cool addition to this set and then we just have some bottles and jars strewn around and that glass there as well so that is it guys but I will just highlight this stair system this can be secured externally there is a lever system at the side there that will fall. I can do it from the inside actually we will pull it in and then you see we'll secure that and when from the outside that is pulled out the stairs will fall down and they will fold out like this so there you go that is the stair system all folded out to get up to the top floor of the house so there you have you guys a review of one of the most awesome sets uh, I've ever built or ever seen before it definitely is a fantastic set um, so usually I will rate this out of 10 for the younger ages then the teenagers then the adults but there is no need with this set I will give this a massive 10 out of 10 uh, brick box 10 out of 10 rating for all ages it just appeals to every age it has playability features for the younger guys it has a fantastic amount of displayability for the teenagers and the adult collectors as well this really does incorporate every single age into one set fantastic uh, so on to the brick box build difficulty rating this will get a 7 out of 10 it is not a very difficult set to build but there are a few parts on it that require uh, quite a bit of time and concentration uh, especially the little spike sections around the the grills on the balcony and on the roof those do become a little uh, time consuming so yeah there you have it guys that is the brick box review on this fantastic set please let me know in the comments box below your thoughts on this if you don't own this yet I would love to know your thoughts uh, from this review from what you've seen and uh, for you people who are lucky enough to own one of these at the moment uh, please let me know what your experiences are with this set did you enjoy the build do you like it is it one of your favorite sets is it your centerpiece maybe I would love to know all these things in the comments box below anyway guys please don't forget to subscribe to the uh, brick box if you haven't already for more awesome reviews which will come thick and fast of course but until next time guys brick on